In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is um, day 11 of the Holy Cloak Novena Intention. I pray this especially on of good Saint Joseph. And uh, pray this for our intentions. For, pray this for pray five Holy Cloak Novena Intentions. I pray this for all your intentions, whatever they may be. And for any other, other intentions may add, as we go along doing this novena. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, we give you our hearts and our souls. Every time I pray the glory be during this novena, is uh, in honor of our, is to our Heavenly Father, in thanksgiving for having exalted Saint Joseph to a position of such exceptional dignity. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world of our end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world of our end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world of our end. Amen. O glorious Patriarch Saint Joseph, we humbly prostrate ourselves before you. We beg the Lord Jesus, your Immaculate Spouse, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and all the angels and saints in the heavenly court to join us in this devotion. We offer you this precious cloak while pledging our sincerest faith and devotion. We promise to do all in our power to honour you throughout our lifetime, to prove our love for you. Help us, Saint Joseph, assist us now and throughout our lifetimes, but especially at the moment of our deaths, as you were assisted by Jesus and Mary, that we may join you one day in heaven, and there honour you for all eternity. Amen. O glorious Patriarch Saint Joseph, prostrate before you and your divine Son Jesus, we offer you with heartfelt devotion this precious treasure of prayers being ever mindful of the numerous virtues which adorned your sacred person. In you, O glorious Patriarch, was fulfilled the dream of your precursor, the first Joseph, who indeed seemed to have been sent by God to prepare the way for your presence on this earth. In fact, not only were you surrounded by the shining splendour of the rays of the Divine Son, Jesus, but you were splendidly, splendidly reflected in the brilliant light of the mystic moon, the Blessed Virgin Mary, O glorious Patriarch, if the example of the ancient Jacob who personally went to congratulate his favourite son, who was exalted on the throne of Egypt, served to bring all his progeny there, should not the example of Jesus and Mary, who honoured you, with their greatest respect and trust, serve to bring us, your devoted servants, to present you with this precious cloak in your honour? Grant, O great Saint Joseph, that the Almighty God may turn a benevolent glance towards us, as the ancient Joseph did not reject his guilt and cruel brothers, but rather accepted them of love and protected and saved them from hunger and death. We beseech your glorious patriarch for your intercession, grant that the Lord may never abandon us in this exiled valley of sorrows, grant that he may always number us among your devoted servants, who live serenely under the patronage of your holy cloak. Grant that we may live always within the protection of this patronage, every day of our lives, and particularly at that moment when we draw our dying breath. Prayers. Hail, O glorious Saint Joseph, you who are entrusted with the priceless treasure of heaven and earth, and foster father of him who nourishes all the creatures of the universe. You are, after Mary, the saint most worthy of our love and devotion. You alone, above all the saints, were chosen for the supreme honour of rearing guiding, nourishing, and even embracing the Messiah, whom so many kings and prophets would have so desired to behold. Saint Joseph, save our souls and obtain for us from the divine mercy of God that petition for which we humbly pray, and for the holy souls in purgatory, grant a great comfort from their pain. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world for our end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O powerful Saint Joseph, you are proclaimed the patron of the Universal Church. Therefore we invoke you above all the other saints as the greatest protector of the afflicted. And we offer countless blessings to your most generous heart, always ready to help in any need. To you, O glorious Saint Joseph, Come the widows, the orphans, the abandoned, the afflicted, the oppressed. There is no sorrow, heartache or anguish which you have not consoled. Darn we beseech you to use on our behalf those gifts which God has given you until we too shall be granted the answer to our petition. And you, holy souls in purgatory, pray to St. Joseph for us. Glory be to the Father, to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world for our end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world for our end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world for our end. Amen. Countless are those who have prayed to you before us and have received comfort and peace, grace and favours. A heart so sad and sorrowful cannot find rest in the midst of this trial which besets us. O glorious St. Joseph, you know all our needs even before we set them forth in prayer. You know how important this petition is for us. We prostrate ourselves before you as we sigh under the heavy weight of the problem which confronts us. There is no human heart in which we can confide our sorrow. And if we should find a compassionate creature who would be willing to assist us, still he would be unable to help us. Only you can help us in our sorrow, St. Joseph, and we beg you to hear our plea. Has not St. Teresa left it written in her dialogues that the world may always know whatever you ask of St. Joseph you shall receive? O St. Joseph, comforter of the afflicted, have pity on our sorrow and pity on those poor souls who place so much hope in their prayers to you. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world for our end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world for our end. Amen. O sublime patriarch St. Joseph, because of your perfect obedience to God, you may intercede for us, for your holy life full of grace and merit. Hear our prayer. For your most sweet name, help us. For your most holy tears, come for us. For your seven sorrows, intercede for us. For your seven joys, console us. From all harm of body and soul, deliver us. From all danger and disaster, save us. Assist us with your powerful intercession. And seek for us through your power and mercy all that is necessary for our salvation. And particularly the favour which we now stand in such great need. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world for end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world for end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world for end. Amen. O glorious Saint Joseph, countless are the graces and favours which you have obtained for afflicted souls, those who are, who suffer illness of every nature, those who are oppressed, persecuted, betrayed, bereft of all human comfort. Even those in need of their life bread, all who implore your powerful intercession, are comforted in their affliction. Do not permit, O dearest Saint Joseph, that we alone be the only ones of all who have appealed to you to be denied this petition, which we so earnestly beg of you. Show your kindness and generosity, even to us, that we may cry out in thanksgiving. Eternal glory to our holy patriarch Saint Joseph, our great protector on earth and the defender of this, of the holy souls in purgatory. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world for our end. Amen. Eternal Father, who art in heaven, through the merits of Jesus and Mary, we beg you to grant our petition. In the name of Jesus and Mary, 
We prostrate ourselves before your divine presence and we beseech you to accept our hopeful plea, to persevere in our prayers that we may be numbered among the throngs of those who live under the patronage of Saint Joseph. Extend your blessing on this precious treasure of prayers which we today offer to him as a pledge of our devotion. Glory be to the Father, to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world for end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world for end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world for end. Amen. Supplications in honor of Saint Joseph's hidden life with Jesus and Mary. Saint Joseph, pray that Jesus may come into our souls and sanctify us. Saint Joseph, pray that Jesus may come into our hearts and inspire them with charity. Saint Joseph, pray that Jesus may come into our minds and enlighten them. Saint Joseph, pray that Jesus may guide our wills and strengthen them. Saint Joseph, pray that Jesus may direct our thoughts and purify them. Saint Joseph, pray that Jesus may guide our desires and direct them. Saint Joseph, pray that Jesus may look upon our deeds and extend his blessings. Saint Joseph, pray that Jesus may inflame us with love for him. Saint Joseph, request for us from Jesus the imitation of your virtues. Saint Joseph, request for us from Jesus, true humility of spirit. Saint Joseph, request for us from Jesus, meekness of heart. Saint Joseph, request for us from Jesus, peace of soul. Saint Joseph, request for us from Jesus, the holy fear of the Lord. Saint Joseph, request for us from Jesus, a desire for perfection. Saint Joseph, request for us from Jesus, a gentleness of heart. Saint Joseph, request for us from Jesus, a pure and charitable heart. Saint Joseph requests us from Jesus the wisdom of faith. Saint Joseph requests for us from Jesus his blessing of perseverance in our good deeds. Saint Joseph requests for us requests for us from Jesus the strength to carry our crosses. Saint Joseph requests for us from Jesus a disdain for the material goods of this world. Saint Joseph requests for us from Jesus the grace to always walk on the narrow path towards heaven. Saint Joseph requests for us from Jesus the grace to avoid all occasions of sin. Saint Joseph requests us from Jesus a holy desire for eternal bliss. Saint Joseph requests us from Jesus the grace of final perseverance. Saint Joseph, do not abandon us. Saint Joseph, pray that our hearts may never cease to love you and that our lips may ever praise you. Saint Joseph, for the love you did bear for Jesus, grant that we may learn to love him. Saint Joseph, graciously accept us as your devoted servants. Saint Joseph, we give ourselves to you. Accept our pleas and hear our prayers. Saint Joseph, do not abandon us at the hour of our deaths. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we give you our hearts and our souls. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world for our end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world for our end. Amen. Invocations to Saint Joseph. Remember, most chaste spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our good protector, Saint Joseph. Never was it known that anyone who came to your protection and sought your intercession was left unaided. Confidently we prostrate ourselves before you and fervently beg for your powerful intervention. O foster father of our dear Redeemer, despise not our petition, but in your mercy hear and answer us. Amen. Glorious St. Joseph, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary and Virginal Father of Jesus, look upon us and watch over us. Lead us on the path of sanctifying grace. Take heed of the urgent needs which we now beg you to envelop within the folds of your fatherly cloak. Dismiss those obstacles and difficulties stand in the way of our prayers and grant that the happy answer to our petition may serve for the great glory of God and eternal salvation. As a pledge of undying gratitude, we promise to spread the word of your glory while offering thanks to the Lord for having so blessed your power and might in heaven and earth. The Litany of Saint Joseph Lord have mercy on us, Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us, Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us, God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. 
Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Illustrious Son of David, pray for us. Lie of the Patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Jace God and the Virgin, pray for us. Foster Father, the Son of God, pray for us. Watchful Defender of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph Most Just, pray for us. Joseph Most Chaste, pray for us. Joseph Most Prudent, pray for us. Joseph Most Valent, pray for us. Joseph Most Obedient, pray for us. Joseph Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Patience, pray, pray for us. Lover of Poverty, pray for us. Model Workman, pray for us. Glory of Domestic Life, pray for us. Guiding of Virgins, pray for us. Pillar of Families, pray for us. Silence of the afflicted, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church, pray for us. Lamb of God takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. He made him the Lord of his household and prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in thy ineffable providence did choose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of thy most holy mother, grant that we may venerate him as our protector on earth, and may deserve to have him as our intercessor in heaven, thou who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Closing prayer of the Holy Cloak. O glorious patriarch Saint Joseph, you who were chosen by God above all men to be the earthly head of the most holy of families, we beseech you to accept us within the folds of your holy cloak, that you may become the guide and custodian of our souls. From this moment on, we choose you as our father, our protector, our counsellor, our patron, and we beseech you to place in your custody our bodies, our souls, all that we are, all that we possess, our lives and our deaths. Look upon us as your children, defend us from the treachery of our enemies, invisible or otherwise, assist us at all times in all our necessities, Console us in the bitterness of our lives, and especially at the hour of our deaths. Say but one word for us to the Divine Redeemer, whom you are deemed worthy to hold in your arms, and to the Blessed Virgin Mary, your most chaste spouse. Request for us to ask thee those blessings that will lead us to salvation. Include us among those who are most dear to you, and we shall set forth to prove ourselves worthy of special patronage. Amen. Praise to Saint Joseph to you do we cry in our tribulations. O blessed Saint Joseph, as we confidently invoke your patronage after that of your most holy spouse, the Blessed Virgin Mary, by that sacred bond of devotion which linked you to the Immaculate Virgin, Mother of God, and for the fatherly love you lavished on the child Jesus, we beg you to cast a glance on those heavenly gifts which the Divine Redeemer has obtained for all mankind, for his precious blood, and for your power and mercy, help us in our needs. O Holy Protector of the Holy Family, protect us children of the Lord Jesus Christ, keep far from us the errors and evils which corrupt the world, assist us from heaven in our struggles against the powers of darkness, and as you once did, protect the divine child from the cruel edict of Herod, now defend the church and keep it safe from all dangers and threats. Spread over all of us your holy patronage, so that by following your example and aided by your spiritual guidance, we may all aspire to a virtuous life, look to a holy death, and secure for ourselves the blessings of eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Praise be to Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.